Hello and welcome back to Tesla News. My name is Marion and I'm your host today and I'm going to give you an update about the VIN numbers in Europe. And we will also look into the battery factory and Giga Berlin expansion. Yes, you heard right. It is starting. But first of all, myself and many others have received VIN numbers from the Globis Splendor. So that means the earliest date I received was the 3rd of June. The Globis is supposed to come to Slovenia by the 1st of June. So for all the people in uh, Britain, um, you might be having your car on the Teben or C the RCC Europe because those will go to Zeebrugge, so meaning as well to Southampton. But the Globis Splendor, that is just for Switzerland, uh, Italy or Austria or south of Germany. That is what the cars are on there. So um, yeah, looks very good. We finally have some cars coming to Europe. Then looking into um, Germany and Giga Berlin, I have talked about the expansion before about the 100 hectare um, location that Tesla will build more stuff on. And this is actually now official because based on RBB, the local news channel, um, we now know that Tesla has already sent all the paperwork to build stuff at this location. So um, it is the location to the right side of the factory here where you see the um, yellow um, street going to the right and then the turnaround and then up the street. And this entire area that is empty in between, that is the 100 hectares which um, Tesla will use. Um, there will be a warehouse, there will be a train station, etc. So lots of stuff supposed to happen there. And so that is exciting. But me personally, I believe it will not take too much time until Tesla will actually start as well to um, go further with the further development section on top to build new um, parts of another factory. Um, this is the initial plan that it's going to happen at some point. Um, I think that Tesla does know how long it takes and we want to see in two years um, latest the Model 3 and I don't see any possibility to have the Model 3 in the same building as it is right now. So it would make a lot of sense for Tesla um, to start with the application for this part of the land as well soon. Um, I will of course give you an update about that once I do know that. So if you don't want to miss any updates do consider subscribing to my channel. I would really appreciate that. Then we start with Indonesia. We have here an area where Tesla might be building a battery factory. It's not talked about a car factory anymore. They only talk about a battery factory. So let's see if this makes actually sense to just build a battery factory here. But again, I just want to remind everybody um, last year um, there were 300 gigawatt hours of batteries installed worldwide inside um, cars or EVs to be exact. And 75% of those batteries came from China. And I think based on the experience we have as well in Europe right now with the dependence on gas or oil for certain countries, um, I think we all agree it is not right that China controlled 75% of the battery supply. So it's very important for Tesla to move forward and as well build battery factories in Indonesia or like we do know in Austin, Giga Berlin, um, they have one in Nevada. So there is a lot of areas pe um, people can get more independent by building factories. This is what um, Europe tries to do as well, build a lot of new battery factories to get a bit more independent from um, the supply from China and I must honestly admit that is the right strategy and it should be um, yeah moving forward for Tesla as well be a priority. Then we are looking into Germany which is interesting you see now 12 free, free places but you also see those places by the number and the letter 3A which are not available because they are broken. So you can actually see that. Um, we know that this was actually in the United States already possible to see but in Europe we had didn't have that yet. So for the European market it is new um, and as well we have Michael Resch here sharing his experience regarding navigating to a 
um, 50 kilowatt charger, the car does pre-conditioning the battery, but with a lower target temperature and without showing the message in the screen. Um, also, that is new. Um, the car seems to not do that when it is going to a supercharger or other HPC. It acts like usual. So you see the battery is already reacting based on your um, travel um, goal and your travel destination where you go and which um, charger you're going to take. Um, and then we're going to look into the navigation energy prediction, which is also very important. And not only is it improved, um, it is also not only taking the crosswind, no, it is also taking the ambient temperature. So this is also not a bad point um, to make it more efficient to see what distance can you actually travel. I mean, what is the actual um, prediction um, and it is getting more and more accurate now because they take more and more stuff into effect um, especially the crosswind is not to underestimate then looking at giga shanghai is now fully operational um, based on cowdry um, that's what i said a few days ago once the shift is now starting again it seems like the entire supply chain um, is going okay right now and they are able to produce as well. So second shift is there and it seems like they can now produce 2,600 units per day. So um, that is exciting. That is very good news, 24 hour shifts. Um, so we should see a lot of cars coming out of the factory now. And I do expect um, record numbers here, 26, 26 um, would be 52 and another um, 26,000 uh, cars. Um, so that would be close to 80,000 cars if they are very fast with that. Then we are looking into Santa Monica and we have new pictures here from the design of the diner, um, the Tesla diner. Um, so this is supposed to be open 24 seven. That is um, reported in the local newspaper in Los Angeles. Um, so 24 um, seven diner, that's very exciting guys. I mean, 28 store supercharging, LED movie screens. I mean, that is cool. I do like that concept. Um, something that um, Tesla could do even more in the future um, would set them really apart and would make the location a place a place to be um, and that is very important so um, yeah very glad to see that Tesla is moving forward with that and I hope that um, we will see stuff like that in Germany maybe in the future as well so thank you very much for being here today I really appreciate your time if you have been new to my channel and you do like updates from Europe do consider subscribing to my channel so you're not going to miss anything anymore and I wish you a wonderful day take care